Welcome back to Tech yeah City, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brian coming back to you guys today with a tutorial on how to make a bootable USB uh, pen drive. Uh, not just that as well, it's going to be a tutorial on how to make a multi-petitioned bootable USB pen drive in Windows 8.1. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, in Windows 8.1, Windows 8, and Windows 7, there's actually a limitation in the OS where you can't make more than one recognizable petition on a removable media device uh, that is so something such as a USB pen drive. Uh, though there is a sort of a trick to get around this and that's what I'm going to show you today because I'm sure there's people out there who uh, have like an 8 gigabyte USB pen drive, 16 gig or even 32 gigabyte pen drive and they want to just make a little segment for that boot uh, petition and then they want to use the rest of their USB pen drive as a normal USB pen drive where they can put data and whatnot freely on it. Uh, however, if you just have a 4 gigabyte USB pen drive and you just want the petition section then I'll put a link in the description below where you can skip ahead on how to just make a USB uh, bootable pen drive but if you guys are interested in making a multi petition USB pen drive then let Let's continue on. So we're on our desktop here, and now there are three programs you will want to get straight away. Uh, two programs, sorry. That the first one being Yumi, uh, and now there are other programs you can use, but I prefer Yumi. It's just so easy, uh, so like a few clicks, and you'll be able to make that uh, bootable USB pen drive. So you go click here, download, uh, download it wherever you want to download it to, uh, and then you need another program called Boot Ice. And now the 32-bit version is going to be absolutely fine. So we've got Boot Ice 1.3.2.1. I'll put the download. Uh, link in the description below for you guys. So once you've got those programs we can no now go on the desktop and get these things ready. So we've got here an English Windows 64-bit uh, version uh, bootable ISO uh, and this is the, the ISO I currently use to install Windows because I've only got Windows 8 uh, keys and so I have to update to Windows 8.1 obviously if you're going to have whatever ISO you're going to have. Uh, so get that ISO on the desktop and get it ready uh, and then get Yumi and then get this program called Boot Ice as well. And so with this Boot Ice program, we can now start to do the first steps in making a multi-petition USB pen drive. Uh, so we're going to go down to Windows here, and we can type in uh, Disk Part. And this will uh, bring up Disk Petition. It's a program that essentially uh, can, it's actually a pretty powerful program, but it's, what it's going to do is it's going to completely wipe our USB pen drive because we're going to start from fresh here so there's no confusions, there's no frustrations. If you follow this tutorial, you'll uh, have exactly what I'm uh, trying to do a tutorial for, and that's a bootable, multi petition bootable USB pen drive. Uh, anyway, in here we can, uh, disk part, we can go to list disk. So this is the first thing we type in. Type in list disk, press enter, it'll bring up all the disks currently connected to our computer. And we can see here disk 3. We want to make, pay particular attention to disk 3 in my, on my behalf or on my part. And that is, the, that is my USB pen drive. So you have to make sure that you're selecting the right disk. So what we do is select disk 3. And so in this case, disk 3 will now be selected. And just for clarification, uh, we can now go list disk again. Type it in again, and it should have a star next to the disk that's selected. So you want to make sure that you are selecting the right disk. If you select the wrong disk and you do what I'm doing, you can potentially brick your whole computer. So this is crucial that you uh, select the right disk. So now that we've got the USB pen drive selected, we can now type in clean. And this will just essentially just wipe the drive completely. Like it's basically the most, th uh, it's just wiping the whole drive clean. And so now we've uh, wiped this drive clean, we can now type create partition primary. So we want to just uh, format it as a basic, uh, I think it's a FAT16, it formats it too, basic, uh, off the get-go. So anyway, we go create partition primary, bang. Disk part succeed in creating it, the unspecified partition. So now our boot drive is basically cleaned out, it's ready to go, uh, and we can now close this program down. And so we should be able to, I mean, if you want to, you can quickly go to this PC or my computer and you can see it there. It should be recognizable. Uh, but after this, we want to open up the program now, Boot Ice. And so after we've opened up this program, this is actually a pretty good program, really good. It's the only program that I know that can do this. Uh, so we go open up this program, go down to Parts Manage here, this button here. So we make sure our disk is selected, of course. This is our um, actual disk uh, USB flash drive here and we go down to parts manage and now once we've clicked on that we can go to repartitioning here so don't worry about formatting because repartitioning can format it as well it's going to reformat it essentially as well so we go to repartitioning
So after we clicked on repartitioning, we can now go down to USB uh, HDD mode here down the bottom, multi partitions, and we can select that. So it's originally selected on single partition, but we want to change it to USB HDD mode multi partitions. And we're going to click OK. And now what this is going to do is it's going to uh, allow us the ability to make three partitions, up to three partitions with one extended I believe. Uh, so we want to click on zero, 00 straight away and that will give us more free space. So on 3 and 2 we can click zero, 00 for now. And now we want to, uh, this will be FAT32 right, FAT32 will be our initial boot drive here and we want to make this say 3750 megabytes. You can make it whatever you want, you can make it 4000 megabytes if you want to, you can make it uh, 6,000 megabytes you can make it. So just my file, my ISO file, I think it's like 3.35 uh, 3, gigabytes or whatnot. So I'm just going to make it 3,750 megabytes uh, and then I'm going to make the other partition 3,636 megabytes. So I know when I insert it, if it comes up, anything over 3.6 gig will be the uh, boot drive and anything under that will be the actual data drive. And now we can put, uh, pretty much just uh, format them in FAT32, that's not too much of a difference on a pen drive. Uh, we also want to click here, Optimize Internal Structure. Now this is also another good thing that we can click here. Um, and so we can leave these other sector, we can leave that option alone and just click OK. And essentially what this will do, and click OK again. And essentially what this will do now is it will format our drive, our pen drive, into two different partitions. Uh, both being FAT32. Uh, and now the important thing here, this is the this is sort of like the trick that we're going to do with this program. Uh, when we want to use the data section of the drive, we can see it here now, it's come up as G drive. Uh, when we want to use the data section of the G drive, we have to click set accessible. And so you're going to want to keep, basically in a nutshell, you're going to want to keep boot ice, this program, uh, you want to store it away in your files somewhere and keep it on hand because whenever you want to use it as a uh, data drive, you can hit here set accessible to that 3.6 gig partition. This is why I didn't set the capacity at the same. I know 3.7 gig is my boot partition, 3.6 is my actual uh, data partition. And so if we want to use it as a uh, data partition to put files on, we can then click set accessible. If we want to use it as a boot drive, we can then click set accessible, reboot the computer, and then boot uh, or whatever, go to the computer that you're going to install Windows on and use it like a normal USB pen drive, um, sorry, normal USB bootable drive. Then after we're done, we can go back and just change it to this program to our, so we just have to, whatever we're using it for, we have to switch it before we do it. And then after we're finished, we can then switch it back to whatever we want to do it for, if that makes any sense. So if you want to use it as a boot drive, okay, this is where the boot uh, partition is. We can hit set accessible. Now we can use it as a boot drive. Uh, and if we want to use it as a data storage device, we can now go, okay, 3.6 gigs. Okay, there's no drive letter coming up. Set accessible. And we can now use it as a data drive. So once we've done that, so now that we're going to continue the second part of the tutorial, we are going to set accessible to the 3.7 gig partition and make that active so Yumi can read it. So this is the next part of the tutorial. This is how to make a bootable USB pen drive. So we want to double click on Yumi here. Go to yes, open it up, I agree, uh, and then select here the 3 gigabyte partition. And now what we want to do here is go to select a distribution to put on G drive. And we want to go all the way down to bot all the way down the bottom here and go to Windows 8, uh, 7, 8, 8 installer here. And now what we want to do after this is we will want to go to browse and we will want to select our ISO here. And here it is here, open. And now after that, after you've selected your ISO, you can then go create and click yes. And so this will take quite a while. It usually takes around, I think, 40, yeah. It's going to take around 40 minutes. So after it's finished, we now have a USB pen drive and it's ready to boot. Uh, so let's get on to the next step and that's to insert your USB pen drive into the fresh computer and then press the power button and then repeatedly press F8 until you get that boot menu up and once you get that boot menu up you can then um, select the USB pen drive from the drop down options so as we can see here it's appeared here that would be my IO data USB pen drive and then you'll see the Yumi come up here the Yumi uh, multi boot USB UI you can then uh, select your in bootable ISO there from the Windows 7 8 option 
and then you can click install Windows 8 as we can see here it's recommend it's uh, recognized it and we're good to go okay guys so that is the end of the tutorial and once we've booted back into Windows and you've set up Windows the way you want it and you want to start using your pen drive as a normal drive like I said before or you can then um, do what you want to do. You can actually rename this and call this the boot drive and it will store that name. And then you can go to open up boot ice here. And now we can quickly go to parts manage. And then we can now click down to the one that's not boot drive and click accessible, set accessible. And you can see here it automatically changed as well in this, in my computer, this PC. Uh, so that's the usable portion and the icon changed as well. So this is removable storage now and we can now use it as such. So that is the end of the tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments about this video then please leave a comment in the comment section below and if you haven't already subscribe to Tech Yes City where I'll be keeping up more tech videos and news. Uh, and I actually haven't done a tutorial for a very long time so let me know in the comment se section below if you enjoyed this tutorial but then please give it a thumbs up as well. Uh, sorry this is the mic that I'm just using for this video as it's so easy to move around and maneuver and type and do things with two hands. Uh, I didn't want to use my desktop mic because I'm kind of, uh, I got more mobility with this mic even though it does sound uh, pretty weak compared to my new, de new uh, sorry, my desktop mic that I use for my usual tech talk series. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in another tech video. Peace out for now. Bye.